More is also being done to help vulnerable students as Singapore's education system evolves to keep pace with global developments. For instance, the expansion of an initiative which aims to better support students from disadvantaged families. The so-called Uplift Community Network will be rolled out in another 12 social service office towns on top of the current 12. Vulnerable youth receive help with their studies while their families get the support that they need. This is set to benefit about 1,300 students and their families. To strengthen the support provided to disadvantaged and at-risk students within the school environment, we have also provided additional manpower resourcing to schools through the Uplift Enhanced School Resourcing Initiative. These additional resourcing support schools in establishing more targeted programs for students with higher needs. Meanwhile, general and special education schools will be working together more closely to nurture inclusivity. For example, students with differing abilities will have more opportunities to interact. The Education Ministry will also continue to improve the quality of teaching and learning in special education schools. Two additional special education syllabuses will be launched this year. These will focus on communication and resilience building. Alongside these curriculum enhancements, we recognise the need to continue working with schools to build capacity and develop the skills to, of educators to support the implementation of this syllabus. We will continue to deepen our partnerships with SSAs to attract talents and study the suggestions of, by members to keep SPAT schools forward-looking.